Both non and school leavers came as far as Tari in Ella province and other universities include University of Technology in Leh and the Pacific Adventist University outside Port Mosby. These are the three universities who are using the aptitude test as part of their admissions criteria. Basically, basically a comprehension and analytical test. You should be able to read a question and understand it and be able to answer questions. There's some problems in there, so you just have to solve them. So it's about, let's say, 70 multiple choice questions. A total of 300 students set for the test, each day totaling up to more than 1,500 students sitting for the test. She said the admission test began in 1995, created by the Australian Centre for Educational Research to improve the national selection process into universities. You can be able to answer those questions, then we know that you are fit for tertiary level. Those are the applicants we look at. Then the next thing we look at is the GPA and other requirements. The papers will be sent to Australia to be marked electronically and the results are expected before the end of next month. She also clarified that the registration fees are directly made online with the registration forms. These fees will be used for logistics to ensure the test papers are timely managed to meet deadlines and requirements. It's convenient for our admission. The supervisor highlighted some of the challenges include incomplete registration form for students in remote areas due to network issues, online internet illiteracy and failure of students to fill in the online registration before deadlines. Lorraine Jimal, National MTV News.